Understanding electromagnetic fields. Electromagnetic fields, EMFs, play an integral role in our modern lives, as they are generated by various sources and utilized for diverse purposes. However, the potential effects of EMFs on human health and the environment have sparked significant interest in research. This video aims to provide a comprehensive overview of electromagnetic fields, exploring their nature, sources, applications, and the ongoing debate surrounding their potential impacts. What are electromagnetic fields? Electromagnetic fields are a combination of electric and magnetic fields that are present everywhere in our environment. They are produced by the movement of electrically charged particles, such as electrons. EMFs can be classified into two categories, ionizing and non-ionizing. Ionizing radiation, such as X-rays and gamma rays, carries enough energy to remove tightly bound electrons from atoms and can have harmful effects on living organisms. Non-ionizing radiation, including radio waves, microwaves, and visible light, has lower energy levels and is generally considered to be less harmful. Sources of electromagnetic fields. EMFs are generated by both natural and man-made sources. Natural sources include the Earth's magnetic field, cosmic radiation from the sun and stars, and electrical storms. Man-made sources encompass a wide range of technologies, such as power lines, electrical appliances, wireless communication devices, and medical equipment. The proliferation of wireless networks and mobile devices has significantly increased human exposure to EMFs in recent years. Applications of Electromagnetic Fields EMFs have revolutionized various aspects of our lives. They are essential for powering our homes, industries, and transportation systems. Additionally, they enable wireless communication, including radio and television broadcasting, mobile telephony, Wi-Fi networks, and satellite communications. Moreover, EMFs find applications in medical imaging, such as magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, as well as in industrial processes and scientific research. Potential Health Effects The potential health effects of EMFs, particularly from man-made sources, have been a subject of debate and scientific investigation. Numerous studies have examined the association between EMFs and various health outcomes, including cancer, neurological disorders, fertility issues, and electromagnetic hypersensitivity. To date, the scientific consensus indicates that exposure to non-ionizing EMFs at levels typically encountered in daily life does not cause adverse health effects. However, ongoing research seeks to further explore potential long-term effects, particularly in the context of rapidly evolving technologies. EMF Safety Standards and Guidelines To protect the public, governments and international organizations have developed safety standards and guidelines for EMF exposure. These standards, such as those established by the International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection, ICNRP, and national regulatory agencies, define limits on permissible exposure levels. Compliance with these standards ensures that EMF exposure remains well below levels that could cause harm. Minimizing EMF exposure. While the scientific evidence suggests that EMFs from everyday sources pose minimal health risks, Individuals who wish to minimize their exposure can take precautionary measures. These include maintaining a distance from high-emitting sources, using hands-free devices for mobile phones, reducing screen time, and adopting proper ergonomics when using electronic devices. Additionally, shielding materials and devices are available to limit exposure in specific situations. EMFs generated by home Wi-Fi networks and the current understanding of their potential impact on human health. Wi-Fi and Electromagnetic Fields Home Wi-Fi networks utilize radio frequency EMFs to transmit data wirelessly. Wi-Fi routers emit electromagnetic waves in the radio frequency range, typically operating at frequencies of 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz. These waves are non-ionizing, meaning they lack the energy required to remove electrons from atoms or molecules, as opposed to ionizing radiation like X-rays or gamma rays. EMF exposure from Wi-Fi networks. Exposure to EMFs from home Wi-Fi networks occurs when devices are connected to the network and actively transmitting data. The strength of the EMF diminishes rapidly with distance from the router, 
resulting in higher exposure closer to the source and decreasing exposure further away. Current scientific understanding. Extensive research has been conducted to assess the potential health effects of EMFs emitted by Wi-Fi networks. To date, the scientific consensus, supported by organizations such as the World Health Organization, WHO, and the International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection, ICNIRP, is that exposure to EMFs from Wi-Fi networks at typical levels found in homes is unlikely to cause adverse health effects. Numerous studies have failed to establish a consistent and robust link between Wi-Fi EMF exposure and negative health outcomes. Wi-Fi EMFs and specific health concerns. A. Cancer. Several studies have investigated the association between Wi-Fi EMFs and cancer risk, particularly brain tumors. The current scientific evidence does not support a causal relationship between Wi-Fi EMF exposure and cancer development. B. Fertility. Concerns have been raised regarding the potential impact of Wi-Fi EMFs on male fertility. However, the existing research provides no conclusive evidence of a detrimental effect on fertility parameters such as sperm quality and reproductive outcomes. C. Neurological effects. Some studies have explored the possibility of Wi-Fi EMFs influencing cognitive function and neurological health. While a few studies have reported minor effects, the overall scientific consensus does not support a significant impact on neurological health from typical Wi-Fi EMF exposure. Minimizing exposure and ensuring safety. If you are concerned about EMF exposure from your home Wi-Fi network, there are simple steps you can take to minimize exposure. A. Positioning. Place the Wi-Fi router in a centralized location away from frequently occupied areas. B. Distance. Maintain a reasonable distance between yourself and the router when possible. C. Duration. Limit prolonged exposure by turning off Wi-Fi devices when not in use. D. Wired connections. Consider using wired connections, Ethernet, for stationary devices to reduce Wi-Fi usage. Ongoing research and future considerations. As technology advances and new wireless communication technologies emerge, Continued research is crucial for evaluating potential health effects. Ongoing studies aim to assess the long-term effects of EMF exposure, particularly from wireless technologies, ensuring that safety guidelines remain up-to-date and protective. The relationship between electromagnetic fields and cell phones, exploring health implications. In our digital age, cell phones have become an integral part of our daily lives. As these devices rely on wireless communication technology, concerns about the potential health effects of electromagnetic fields, EMFs, emitted by cell phones have emerged. This comprehensive article aims to provide an overview of EMFs generated by cell phones, examine the scientific research on their potential impact on human health, and explore precautionary measures for safe mobile phone use. Cell phones and electromagnetic fields Cell phones operate by emitting and receiving radio frequency, RF, electromagnetic waves, a form of non-ionizing radiation. These EMFs are generated by the transmission and reception of signals between the phone and cellular towers. The frequencies used by cell phones typically range from 800 MHz to 2.4 GHz. EMF exposure from cell phones Exposure to EMFs from cell phones occurs when a device is in use, particularly during active calling, data transmission, or when close to the body. The intensity of EMF exposure depends on factors such as distance from the phone, signal strength, and duration of use. Current scientific understanding. Extensive research has been conducted to investigate the potential health effects of EMFs emitted by cell phones. The scientific consensus, supported by organizations such as the World Health Organization, WHO, and the International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection, ICNIRP, is that the evidence does not establish a clear causal link between cell phone EMF exposure and adverse health effects. However, ongoing research continues to explore potential long-term effects, particularly as technology evolves and usage patterns change. Specific health concerns. A. Cancer. The relationship between cell phone EMFs and cancer, particularly brain tumors, has been extensively studied. 
While some studies have reported weak associations, the overall scientific consensus does not support a consistent and robust link between cell phone use and cancer development. b. Neurological effects. Research has examined whether cell phone EMFs can affect cognitive function, sleep quality, and the risk of neurodegenerative disorders. While some studies have reported minor effects, the current evidence suggests that typical cell phone EMF exposure does not have a significant impact on neurological health. c. Fertility and reproductive health. Studies investigating the potential effects of cell phone EMFs on male and female fertility have provided inconsistent results, with no conclusive evidence to suggest harmful effects on reproductive outcomes. Precautionary measures for safe cell phone use. While the scientific consensus indicates that the risk of adverse health effects from cell phone EMFs is low, individuals concerned about potential exposure can adopt precautionary measures. A. Distance. Maintain a distance between the cell phone and the body during use by utilizing hands-free options or speakerphone mode. B. Duration. Limit the duration of cell phone calls and reduce unnecessary use. C. Sleep hygiene. Avoid keeping cell phones close to the bed while sleeping to minimize exposure during rest. D. Signal strength. Use cell phones in areas with strong network coverage to reduce the device's output power. Regulatory guidelines and safety standards. Government agencies and international organizations have established safety guidelines to regulate EMF exposure from cell phones. These standards, such as those developed by the Federal Communications Commission, FCC, in the United States, ensure that cell phones meet specific absorption rate, SAR, limits to minimize potential health risks. Charging your phone while you sleep is a common practice for many people. However, concerns about electromagnetic fields, EMF, and their potential effects on health have also been raised. Here's some information to consider. EMF from electronic devices. Electronic devices, including smartphones, emit electromagnetic fields while they are charging. EMF is a type of radiation that is generated by the flow of electric current. However, the levels of EMF emitted by phones and their chargers are generally considered to be low and within acceptable safety limits. Health effects of EMF. The health effects of EMF are a topic of ongoing research and debate. Some studies suggest a possible link between long-term exposure to high levels of EMF and certain health issues, such as cancer and neurological disorders. However, the scientific evidence is inconclusive, and many regulatory agencies, such as the World Health Organization, WHO, state that there is no conclusive evidence of harm from low-level EMF exposure. Precautions you can take. If you have concerns about EMF exposure while charging your phone, you can take the following precautions. A. Keep your phone away from your body. Place your phone on a bedside table or at a reasonable distance away from your body while charging. Avoid keeping it under your pillow or directly on your bed. B. Use airplane mode. Switching your phone to airplane mode while charging can reduce the emission of electromagnetic fields. In this mode, your phone disables its wireless communication functions. C. Use a charger from a reputable manufacturer. Stick to chargers and cables provided by the original manufacturer or trusted third-party companies. Poor quality chargers may have inadequate shielding and can potentially generate higher EMF levels. D. Consider using a charging station or wireless charger. Charging stations or wireless chargers can help keep your phone further away from your sleeping area, reducing your proximity to the EMF emitted. E. Limit screen time before bed. Instead of keeping your phone near you while you sleep, establish a routine of disconnecting from electronic devices, including your phone, before bedtime. This can help promote better sleep hygiene. While concerns about the potential health effects of cell phone EMFs have been raised, the scientific consensus suggests that typical cell phone use does not pose significant risks to human health. Extensive research has failed to establish a clear causal relationship between cell phone EMF exposure and adverse health outcomes. However, individuals can adopt precautionary measures to minimize exposure if they are concerned. Continued research, monitoring, and adherence to safety guidelines are vital as technology advances and our reliance on wireless communication continues to grow. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, 
like, share and leave your comment below.